Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to use pages on iCloud to share a document and create a newspaper. The pages online is very similar to the pages that you have on your computer. This just allows you to collaborate on the same document. The reason we're not using Google Docs is because it does not have the text box options that iCloud Pages does. There are a lot more sophisticated features for creating columns in this than there are in Google Documents. So it will actually be a lot easier than using Google Documents. Now, many newspapers have some kind of heading at the top. Um, I'm, I'll start with just doing a quick demo of how you can do that. Notice that the default template has some text boxes at the top for using as a header. It's unlikely that these are really going to work well for you, so just kind of ignore them, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this box symbol. This will allow me to draw a box or other shape at the top of my screen or in any other place. So this is going to be my header. And I just click and drag on it and then I'm going to make it nice and small. Notice that it comes up with the center automatically shown, which is quite nice. And then you could change the colors to anything you want. And click off of it when you want to deselect. Okay, so that's a little bit of a header. And then now I'm going to put in a text box to type in the name of my newspaper. Your teacher will explain more about actual newspaper formatting. I'm just showing you how to actually use the tools. So, um, body is the default. So you could choose a different paragraph style, which would then change the formatting, or you can change the formatting yourself. And change the size. And again, it automatically centers itself quite nicely. Then I'm going to add a little bit more features. I'm going to add a line. And underneath that, I'll add another little text box with the date. A little saying. I might and the price. Not a hundred dollars, a dollar. Notice that the size of the text box dictates where your text will be. So if you click off the text box and click back on it, you get the handles which allow you to make it bigger or smaller as needed. Okay, it's not quite centered, but for now, as an example, it's fine. Now notice if I move this up, Maybe I want it over the, above the line instead of below the line. The ASFG newspaper disappeared. So if I click on that text box because I know it's there, then I can click on the Arrange tab over here and bring it to the front. So now it's in front of that. So there's an overlap issue here, so I can't actually move that one up there. So, oops, make it up there. Grab the other one and move it down. Let's actually move the line up a little bit. So this is actually pretty easy to use. <clears throat> so let's bring that forward to the front. And we still have that disappearing. So undo and drag that back down so we can see it. Okay. Um, so then continuing creating text boxes for your, the titles of your articles. Remember to make the text boxes nice and close around text so that, again, you don't struggle as much with the forward and backward and who's and what's in front of what. Another text box 
be the body of that article. And I'm going to cheat a little bit here with some fake text. Okay. Notice that there's this plus here. That means that there's more text than there is box. So I'm going to come back and drag it down a little bit more until it fits the text nicely. Now notice the text, the ends of each line are at different places. In newspapers, usually the text is justified. So if I click on the text tab, then I can choose the justified option. Now the text actually fills each line. And it looks more, much more like a newspaper. So again, just keeping my text box right around my actual text. And let's say this is a two column article with a picture. So here's the first column using my fake text. And then I'm going to insert a picture. Now obviously you would choose a good picture for this. I'm just choosing something at random off my desktop. <laughs> okay, so there's the picture. Let's make that text justified and then, and now notice how it goes around the picture. I need to adjust my columns anyway, so I'm going to move those over a little bit. You can also make the picture a little smaller so it fits better. So I'm just doing a little bit of moving around and changing things to make them look nice. And then you can continue on the next page. You can even copy. You can copy and paste the elements that you already have so that it makes things easier. Okay, again, remember the arrange button is your friend. Send things front and back so that they appear correctly. Now, obviously, you have real text so it'll look better, but then you can also change the formatting of just parts of a text box. So, continued on page two. And actually, quite frequently, that is right aligned. If you are the owner of the document, it will be in your iCloud. If you are not the owner, if, one, if your teammate shared the document with me, you'll have to return to the email and click on the link to open the document again. Okay, good luck. It's pretty easy. Thanks for watching.